Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I decided to make a little series called Fairy Tales. And uh, on those videos I'm going to be talking a little bit about my chinchilla, my rats, and perhaps a smoky nigini. Nigini is a um, ball python, smoke is a sharpe. So today we're going to be doing a little cage tour of Luna and Cookie and Lucius. So she's excited to show a little bit of the cage for you guys. I hope the quality is good. I'm still trying to learn about the settings of my camera. Um, even though I did make a couple of videos for my YouTube channel, um, you know, I'm still with the settings and everything. So hopefully the quality is going to be good enough to get the cage. Okay, so starting with the bottom, we have her styling wheel, which is, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure which brand it is from, but I got from PetSmart and it was about $25. And she hasn't used it yet, so I'm concerned if she actually doesn't like it or if she doesn't know how to use it. I got her last Thursday, I believe, or Wednesday. I got her Wednesday from PetSmart, and uh, she didn't have like a wheel in there, so maybe it's that the reason why she doesn't play with it. And here is our bending bridge, which actually was a great, a really great price. It was like two ninety nine a petco, and uh, but she kind of likes it because it just helps her to go up and out the level. She jumps a lot, so you know, I I just put a bunch of ledges around her cage to help with it. Before I was putting actually hay under it, um, she's a little bit scared of the camera. <laughs> it's okay, baby. And uh, I used to put hay under it, but she doesn't have the interest in, like the rats of just like digging and finding the hay. So it would just you know stay there until it went bad. So I decided to just use as a platform for her to jump to the other level of the cage. Um, this is a little. Uh, treat for her, treat for her, but it's not like actually bad as the sugary type. It's just like hay. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, girl. <laughs> and uh, it's just like Timothy hay. You're not supposed to be giving chinchillas treats just because they can't tolerate sugar and um, other type of seeds as much as other animals. Let's say for my rats, I can give them between like two times or three times uh, a week treats and they will be just fine but her like if I give her like you know one raisin that's basically good for the entire day she can't take much of sugar and there's her twig wreath that I also got at Petsmart um, I actually found this through another YouTube um, <laughs> Hi baby, they're on another YouTube channel and she actually likes a lot. She wasn't chewing any of her, you know, toys, neither the lava ledge, but this one she kind of liked a lot. So I'm happy with the purchase and I'm definitely going to buy more once that one is done. Uh, chinchillas, they overheat pretty quickly. So they are supposed to have um, this marble platform so they can cool down, and, you know, lay down in it. So I live here in the bottom so it motivates her to get down because sometimes she will just stay up there in her little hiding house so it's good to have down here so she can have activities to do down and there's her water bottle right there which I'm actually pretty impressed because it's made with plastic and uh, I put it from the outside so I don't think there is risk of her chewing at, at least so far she hasn't had any interest on chewing the bottle and it doesn't leak and I only pay like two dollars uh, I believe no more than three dollars and uh, up here on the second level it's where I keep her food which is she's eating right now and her hay and some blocks I got actually a huge pack for my rats for those blocks and they're also safe for chinchilla so I just use for them both I do not mix them so let's say if this was in the, in the rat's cage I don't put in her cage just because you know like I don't want her getting any type of disease or anything like that not saying that my, my rats are aren't healthy but I just don't know how it works between one animal to the other so I just don't like mixing it up and up here there's another lava ledge um, I kind of like them a lot like for chewing and for you know like for nails like the rats but the only problem is they kind of lose so every time that she jumps in here I, I gotta keep on screwing back so that's why I turned to this way because it seems to be a little bit more secure than the rounded part of it but it still is just like I don't find it that safe, so hopefully it's going to last for a while, but she jumps a lot around the cage, so I doubt it. Hi, what you doing? What are you doing, baby? Okay, second level. 
let's see. So on the second level, there's also, also other platforms. I got all those platforms on Amazon. Um, this one is the one I like the most because it's thicker. It's still not as thick enough. I want to get something that's a little bit more sturdy. Um, this one is also as thick as this platform right here, but I just find it a little bit flimsy. As you guys can see, I put it at the bottom, but it doesn't really align to the top, and I kind of have OCD with this because you know it's it's firm, but I just don't like it the way it looks. If you guys can see, it's just like kind of bending and I just want it to be kind of like I saw the picture you know like the picture looked um, very straight and then the platforms and but she still likes it so that's good and here she has her kabob which I believe is how it's pronounced I'm sorry if it is now it's supposed to be for rabbits but it's also safe for chinchillas she hasn't had an interest on chin this yet so hopefully she's going to use eventually just because you know it's it's a cool one it's made of wood here as well so she can just like tear it apart and it will be a fun thing to do and here is her hiding bed it's not actually hiding bed but <laughs> her hiding spot I actually live to this side right here but I just wanted to show in case she was slipping in there um, so you guys could see her but I usually put it in this side because otherwise if she jumps from here to here um, she just gets confused for some reason she's still learning her cage and she would almost like fall so I just live in this side so that's pretty much it for her cage um, I want to get her a little hay pin or I don't know if you guys know those hay trays that you basically just attach to the cage and she pulls it from there I, I didn't like the concept first but it seems that that's the one that works best for a chinchilla so I'm going to purchase it Hi, Mom. Okay. I just placed them back in the cage. They were actually in that little cage right near it. It's not like that small, but you know, it works for when I'm cleaning the cage. Um, they're a little bit less shy of me, but they still kind of run away, you know, whenever I try to pet them or whatever. But they still come to my hand whenever they want to leave the cage and whenever it's playtime. So at the top I have this little kitty house, which it was very misleading. I got it from Amazon in the same median and on the title was saying bunny um, home. And I was like, well, if it has a bunny home, it probably fits a chinchilla, right? So I got it for the chinchilla, uh, you know, first of all. But when I received it, I was like, she's not going to fit in here at all. And even if she did, it would be like very tightly. So I wrote a reveal and um, I was going to return it. And uh, the reason why I returned it was because it was like misleading, in my opinion. Um, and instead of actually asking to return, they just refunded me and told me to, to keep this. So I just gave it to the rats. Um, this is my slippers, as you guys can see. <laughs> used to be from a pair of slippers that I have, but I ended up losing one of them. So what I do, I just like use for them. Sometimes they would just lay on top of it. Sometimes I would put like some tissues in there, uh, together with some treats and they would dig in it. And it's a fun activity to do with them. Um, they do like paper towel rolls so I just put in their cage so they can chew on it this one is just new so that's why it doesn't look messed up <laughs> by the way if you guys have a rats or you know chinchilla don't get anything that has bells if they're supposed to stay in your room just for the fact that it's very noisy and not gonna be able to sleep or if you're just trying to con concentrate in general it's very noisy and uh, I feel like cooking wishes they're literally just like playing with this for the noise they don't chew in it at all they just like it for the noise so like I said here's another block from that package that I told you guys that I got so it's just like the ABC and um, you know like some um, shapes. This is their double hammock. They like to stay here quite a lot, Lucius and Cookie. They Once in a while they will sleep together, but they usually prefer to sleep apart. Like she sleeps on top and he will sleep in the bottom. And this is a basket from Dollar Tree, which um, I haven't bought it actually in an attempt to use for them. 
but I just got it so I will, like it was like for decoration but then I was just like but they will probably use much more than I would so I just put in their cage for them and uh, yeah so this is a bird letter that I got for them it's getting a little bit dark here so I'm sorry if you guys can't see that much but I'm hoping you guys can um, <laughs> I told you she's scared of me and uh, I put it in there so they can chew because it's safe material for chewing and they also use for climbing. This is a Katie water bottle which I actually want to change because it drips a lot. So as you guys can see right now it's not dripping but just a second ago it was kind of dripping and somebody just got to the house so it's smoky, it's barking. I hope that doesn't affect the video but here we go cookie. So, but as I was saying, like that water bottle was leaking, so I'm just gonna replace it because I noticed it was going very quick, and uh, I thought it was just like the rats drinking a lot of water, which she's about to drink now, I believe. But it's not; it's because it's been leaking. So, yeah. So this is the barking boy that was downstairs, right, Smoke? And this is actually two wash cars, but. Um, they actually like it. I got it from Dollar Tree. It's very comfortable for them to sleep. Another chewing toy. I have a many. This one actually I find it a waste of money just because they don't interact with that whatsoever. They really don't like it. But I'm going to buy uh, some for the chinchilla because I heard they actually enjoy this quite a lot. Um, this one is more for playing rather than you know chewing. They just like pushing you around. Hi baby. Show your hammock. Okay, let me just show here before she escapes. And at the bottom, I just have a litter pen or tray uh, for them. They use it and they don't use it. So I'm trying to figure out in this cage, which is the place that they go pee and poo uh, often, just because they were in this cage before. And then uh, once I got Luna, I changed them for like to this cage. Uh, Cookie, she's expecting kittens, so uh, the space bar is much better for for her in this case. Um, you know, I just don't want none of the kittens escaping, so I feel like this is better. Even though it would be better for Luna, it's you know like space wise, it's better for Cookie um, for when her little kittens get born. Hi, baby, and this used to be a little bedding and digging toy um, it was like a banana shape and it was like a lot of uh, bedding inside so they just like would pull it I would have stuck treats in here and it would take the bedding and just chew all over uh, at first it was very messy because it looks kind of like a cotton type of material so it will get all over the cage but they had fun so that's what it matters and you know there's still a little bit of leftovers they like chewing it's good for their teeth um, as rats have constantly growing teeth um so i just keep it in here until it's done same thing about the strawberry that came with the banana i'm not sure what this material is called but it's supposed to be really good for their teeth so it is a shame that they don't actually play with it i wish they did but i'm definitely gonna get this for the chinchilla and see what's up um so the good thing about critter nation is that the cage comes with this little fleece on the on the little stairs and i like it just because rats are not supposed to be climbing up and down or like walking for too long and um metal or i don't iron like this um because it can cause bubble on their feet and it's just like just such a pain for them so you know like i really like the idea that it already comes with the cage and there she is again i think she's giving the tour to you guys here is her hammock which they like quite a lot. I really like the setup right here because they just climb it from here to there and then to this trunk which used to be from the chinchilla. When I first purchased the chinchilla I did not know they were not supposed to have um, plastic in their cage. The reason why they can't have plastic in their cage is because differently from the rats they will chew it and they will swallow. The rats they usually will just chew the you know plastic and they will spit it out but chinchillas they don't have the concept that 
damaging for them. So they will swallow and that can actually kill a chinchilla. So do not put plastic in your cage. Um, I went based on what the pet store told me that well we put plastic in their cage so it should be fine. Because I did do my research before having a chinchilla and she told me that many many chinchilla owners buy this one because it's a sturdy material, plastic, like a sturdy plastic material. But you know don't go by the pet store even though I understand that you're trying to help you do your research because you know something can be very damaging for your pet and you don't want to find out in the last minute when something really bad happens to them. Um, so here's another willow um, ball for them and uh, this one is lasting quite a lot because I have them since January 25th and uh, I got this from when I had my other rat um, which is a long story I'm not going to tell right now but um, he passed away from upper respiratory infection um, we tried to treat it unfortunately it did not work out and you know Stuart he only stayed with me for um, a week and a half so it was you know it was very sad but um, they have this since then and uh, they will kind of destroy when they feel like it but it's just like an eventually thing um, I would recommend it it's really good uh, I'm not sure if the chinchillas there is one that I'm actually going to put in a different video that is dangerous for chinchillas some toys you know they have like a good um, intention but they just like dangerous for the chinchilla like let's say if they have like sharp uh, wood in them or anything like that it can actually hurt your chinchilla so just do your researches when you getting toys be for the rats uh, or for the chinchilla uh, what wood type they can eat and all that kind of stuff so you know they don't get harmed um, this used to be a omeos tube as you guys can see a container or whatever and I just cut the bottom which is great I did not know like the bottom was made of, of paper as well and I've been trying to look something um, to make DIY stuff so I don't have to spend so much money on toys because toys, you know, honestly, they will destroy in about a week. So I just want to make my own stuff so it lasts a little bit longer. Um, so I cut the bottom, they just like go through it and sometimes if I put like a fliss in here, they will slip on it and just chill. It's a place that they like it. They haven't chewed it yet. Like they have like for a week and they haven't chewed on it yet. Um, nor a pee. Usually if they pee on their, you know, paper or cardboard stuff, I just throw it away um, after a day just because otherwise it will smell. Um, this used to be another pot container, um, whatever you would call, we call in Portuguese pochi. And uh, Kiki likes to go in here whenever she's frightened, like whenever she hears like a loud noise, she would just go there and stay there for a while. So. I just keep it for her, you know, as a safety spot. Here I have a little storage, which I really, really enjoy. Um, it's way bigger compared to the other care, the other cage, which I'm going to lift the name later on because I don't recall. It's supposed to be a ferret cage, but or actually a chinchilla as well. But I, I just, it's not really a cage that I like that much. It fits the needs, but I would definitely not recommend for a long time. Yeah, that's it for their cage. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna let you guys say bye to them. Say bye, big boy. Bye, big girl. And Luna.